Hey guys, all right. So let's take a look at um, the Elements of Investing project. Um, let's first, let me open up one more thing here. Oops. Let's see here, uh, scoring rubric as well. So first of all, there are going to be 12 um, options for you to choose from. There's only nine actually in the book, uh, but I wanted to add three extras because we have 10 groups in our class. So uh, in your drafting order, you'll be picking one of these uh, 12 options um, to choose from. And your their sw the slides are here, the scoring rubric is here as well. A couple things to go over for you this time. Uh, Remember on this first slide, the main thing you're going to be doing is worrying about definitions. So you don't write anything here. This is simply uh, because I am taking two. I'm taking two fake. Um, you guys get any one of these twelve, and then I chose. I added two extra fake ones just to give you an example of what your project needs to look like. So you're not going to be actually telling people that a good idea would be to only buy crypto, but I'm going to be arguing that today just to show you what the what the actual project looks like. So I would take words out of what this is what this title is. And so I decided to define buy and I decided to define crypto. Um, if yours is avoid all credit card debt or if yours is set aside cash reserves, you're going to find two words or two phrases out of there like for instance, you may uh, not just want to define cash, but you want to define cash reserves because that's a term together um, and define what that is. You don't have to have Webster's Dictionary for it or anything, but just making sure the other side and the audience knows what you're talking about today. There's no evidence that needs to go with this, though. One thing over here uh, for your first slide. Sorry, that was the announcement. So let me go back here. Um, so on your very first slide here of um, the first reason, you're going to have three reasons. Your evidence this time around is going to be already decided for you. So instead of you picking what you're going to put on here, this isn't going to change. So this is not in red this time. It's in black. You must show a video for your first time out. Remember, all three of the slides need to be shared with all three of the members. And this time around, any videos that you do, any articles that you show have got to be shared amongst all of the people in your group as well. You can't just be like, well, it's my slideshow, so I have it. If your computer dies on you, we want the other people in your group to be able to, to have access to that. So this time around, we're going to be working off what we call a claim warrant impact. This is a claim. And you are a 16, 17, 18-year-old person. So I'm not trying to be mean here, but you're not credible. You haven't published any kind of journals. You haven't made any kind of studies. So you're making a claim here. You're claiming crypto has seen incredible gains. You're proving that with the evidence that you're providing, which is saying, look, this expert in the industry, whether it be Dave Ramsey or somebody like that, or some sort of video on YouTube where an expert is going to validate what I'm saying as my claim. So crypto has seen incredible gains. I show this video that shows crypto has gone up by 600%. I then come back to this slide and I finish the slide with the impact, claim, warrant, impact. And the impact is um, what the video shows us is Boy, 600% returns. As you can see, crypto has seen incredible gains. And for you as an investor to think gold could do that is certainly not going to be in your best interest. So as you can see, I've claimed more and impacted that entire thing. This is important this time because over here, when it comes to impact statements, if you give me a slide and you don't give me the impact statement, you're going to lose a point. So if I'm on your team, you're my teammate, and you get up there and you're just like, um, okay, so anyway, crypto has seen incredible gains. Here's this video. Okay, never mind. Then move on. And like, I don't ever get like spoon fed as a judge. This right here was where you spoon feed the judge. You spoon feed the audience. This is why ours is better than theirs. This is why this impact statement is very, very important. You're going to be doing this for this for the second point as well. But this one needs to be an article instead of uh, instead of a video. Third point, same thing. Uh, you're going to go back to another video here. The only thing you're changing is this up here, the picture, and the red. The rest of this is all staying the same. Remember, this is a visual aid. This is not a visual speech. Uh, we want you to be the speech. This is just imp like helping to aid your speech overall. Uh, and when you get to questions, by the way, this time around, you're not going to be required to have uh, 10 questions written and turned into me. You can, you can turn 10 questions into me. You can write 10 questions, but you don't have to. Uh, this time around, what we're going to do is when the Q&A period, so if I'm the opener and I finish and I say, I'm now for questions, 
The other team stands up and they must ask questions for two consecutive minutes. That might be three questions, that might be 10 questions, but you cannot have a pause. So what I would recommend that you do, if you do have a pause, you're going to lose points out of this. And the points are gonna add up, especially if you miss impacts or you, if anything else is done incorrectly in your particular uh, slideshow. Um, so, and also by the way, this time you do not have to have this, you do not, all three people don't have to ask a question. This time around, you could literally have one person that their main job is to ask questions. Of course, the best teams are the ones where everybody asks questions, but it might be just be that you have one person on your team who's really good at it. Whatever the case, uh, if you're going along and nobody asks a question, I'm gonna say there was a pause and that lets you know you've lost a point. And if you still don't ask a question, I'm gonna say that's a second pause. So if I'm you, I am taking notes when my opponent is speaking on my iPad or on a piece of paper, and I'm writing little notes to myself. Like if they come up and say something about how great gold is that like back in the 49ers era that, you know, gold was a, a valuable commodity. I might write down on my piece of paper, 49ers era. And so I, so when I get to the questioning time, I go to them and I say, you're quoting 1849 which is an important time in American history, but it's certainly not 2021. Can you explain to me why you want to go back in history and invest in gold when you could invest in the future in cryptocurrency? And that's kind of what I mean is that you, I want you thinking on your feet. I want you, uh, write, you write questions as the person's going along. Prefabricated questions are never really very fun. Like, why do you think gold is better than crypto? That's so boring. You're killing the audience. Whereas impromptu questions are often much more interesting. When it comes to the persuader uh, this time around, um, you're going to have three main arguments and all three arguments are going to have a video. So you've got to have a video for all three of these. They're going to make an argument, which is also a claim. You're going to make provide evidence, which is the warrant. And you're going to impact every single one of these. You're also going to change this up here where this is better than this. You're doing that for all three points, okay? The closer statement here has no uh, evidence. And the reason is, is because it's, you're, not, you're not building anything. You're simply, when you're the closer, you're the final person talking. So you're making an argument, crypto has way better returns, and you're impacting it. And really judges why you need to know this is because if you invest in Bitcoin or you invest in Ethereum, you're going to see far bigger returns in the long run than you are over gold, which doesn't have very big returns. Um, you're going to have three main arguments for this. And, and I don't mean crypto is way more fun as a good argument. I was just writing it to show you an example of an argument. It's not a good argument. But I mean, it is kind of because I do, I am like kind of addicted to looking at my crypto every day, um, especially today. It's all time high, um, which is the 20th of October, uh, 2021. But uh, who knows when you're watching this in the future, maybe this might be five years from now you're watching this and you're like, Mr. Simpson crypto crashed three years ago. Like, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, anyway, argument number three. Uh, and then there is no questioning afterward. Uh, looking at the scoring rubric. If I am a teammate, if you are my teammate, I am looking at your PowerPoint. When you practice your PowerPoint in front of us, if you have typos in your PowerPoint, I'm making you stop right in the middle of your practice speech. No, don't finish it. Stop right now and change, correct the errors. If things need to be capitalized, you need to capitalize them. You do what, what you turn into me can have errors on it. I don't care. You, what you're turning into me as far as PowerPoint is a rough draft. What you're showing the class is your final copy. And if that final copy has errors on it, you lose points. You lose a point for every error. Last time it was two errors equals one point. This time it's gotten a lot harder. Questions, no pauses. Your videos have to all be screen recorded this time. You cannot have any like videos off of the internet. You must, uh, so what you do is you open up your video, you screen record it, you make it into a file, you airdrop it to your teammates and everybody has it. There's no delays. I don't wanna say, I don't wanna see commercials and I don't wanna see, um, you know, the little circle, the, your iPad doing circles because it's, it's thinking, trying to upload a video or something that should be all done. You must have enthusiasm about your project. You should be ad adequately arguing on behalf of it. You shouldn't just be like, okay, I'm up here, whatever, crypto's lame. I don't care about any of this stuff. Like that is not good. Uh, make sure you turn your work in on time and make sure that you have uh, impact statements throughout. All right. Thanks guys. Good luck on this. It's going to be a lot of fun.